I'd like to show an example of using a layer mask in Photoshop. To begin with, we'll need more than one layer, so let's come to the layer palette, right click on the background layer, and duplicate it. Now that we have two layers, let's apply an effect to the top layer so that there's a difference between the two. I'm using a Gaussian blur, but you could use any effect or adjustment you like. Now that the layers are different from each other, let's apply the mask. At the bottom of the layer palette, click Add Layer Mask. Initially, nothing seems to change. This is because the layer mask begins all white, which doesn't affect the images attached to in this layer. If you want to make a change to the layer mask, you can paint with black or gray or white into the layer mask. It's essentially its own canvas, so with the brush tool selected as black, I'm painting black into the layer mask because the layer mask is selected in the layer palette. That essentially cuts a hole in the layer. Now it looks like a black smudge in the thumbnail, but it really just represents a transparent area of that layer. If you want to reverse that, you can actually select white as your foreground color and still painting into the layer mask, you're covering up the black and that will reverse the transparency we initially started adding. That's not a great example, but let's select a gradient. Now this is a linear gradient to start with. Black as my foreground color. I'm putting black here and ending in white over here. As you can see, the white portion is actually showing the top layer. That's the part that isn't transparent, and the black portion is completely transparent, so the bottom layer shows through entirely over here. If you wanted a different gradient, that's fine. The layer mask is actually editable completely on its own, so you can redo this as much as you want. Let's do a radial gradient, and that didn't turn out. Let's try that again. There we go. And if you want to get creative with this, you can go ahead and change your blend modes for example, if you like uh, vivid light, you can still do that. So I hope that clarifies why you might want to use a layer mask to get some interesting effects.